लास्ट लेग ऑफ भारत जोड़ो यात्रा है स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम कुठवा इन जामू आई एम ज्वाइन बाय मिस्टर जयराम रमेश सर इज एंड दिस द मोस्ट क्रूशल एंड द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग बिकॉज यू आर कंक्लूडिंग विद द ग्रैंड फंक्शन इन श्रीनगर वेल वी आर हियर नाउ इन द लास्ट लेग द लास्ट टेन डेज एंड टूडे इज हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स डे ऑफ द भारत जोड़ो यात्रा एंड वी आर कवरिंग ट्वेंटी वन किलोमीटर्स एट वन स्ट्रेच विदाउट अ ब्रेक Uh, okay. there won't be a bharat jodo yatra in the afternoon today okay uh, and they w- tomorrow is a rest day so but this is a long long walk this morning and we've been walking in the rain been walking in the cold hmm. but in kathua hmm. we've had hundreds and hundreds of people lining the roads from 7:45 in the Correct. morning yeah uh, welcoming the bharat jodo yatra and greeting mr rahul gandhi and the bharat yatris so it's a great it's a great experience hmm. to come to the last leg uh, looking forward to the 30th so unlike unlike other rest of the country here in jammu and kashmir you will be traveling in many places on in row in, in vehicle and well, curtailing we'll be, the we'll curtailing be, the yeah, a substantial part of the journey from jammu to hmm. srinagar hmm. will certainly be by bus Okay, for so obvious reasons correct but uh, there will be 27th 28th mm-hmm. 29th mm-hmm. we will do at least 3 days mm-hmm. of uh, pad yatra in uh, kashmir okay and we probably end up doing about 35 kilometers right or 40 kilometers right over a 3 day period right uh but yes because of the topography hmm. because of the cold because of security considerations okay uh a good part of the jammu to srinagar pa- will be done by bus will be done by bus but, but there will be at least 3 days of pad yatra in kashmir from anantnag to srinagar yeah from on 27th 26th is a rest day because of republic day correct 27th 28th and 29th and of course we have this function Uh, at the PCC office right. in Lal Chowk in Srinagar right on the 30th so so what does this mean because yatra you know it is reimagining rahul gandhi reimagining congress or what it stands for it's re it's reimagining politics number 1 it's reimagining congress number 2 and the consequence of this hmm. is uh, the transformation Uh, in the public imagination of rahul gandhi so that that was not a cause for the bharat jodo yatra okay that was a consequence of the bharat jodo yatra okay but suddenly from the point of view of redefining politics and political discourse okay. redefining the narrative of the congress okay and the congress's own position mm-hmm. which has been weakened very very substantially over the last years particularly in the last decade So, so this, this is a booster dose right sir this so, is a super booster dose uh-huh. for the congress party so does this mean somewhere congress has lost what it stood for and and this uh, yatra is to actually yes. reclaim but certainly it's... this is one attempt uh, this is a major attempt by mr rahul gandhi to sharpen the ideological mm-hmm. clause of the congress mm-hmm. uh, you know there are three big issues that mm-hmm. are being raised in the bharat jodo yatra mm-hmm. the issue of growing economic inequality mm-hmm. the issue of intensifying social polarization mm-hmm. on religion caste language and region and the all too obvious political authoritarianism in fact i would call it political dictatorship Mm-hmm. which exists in the country mm-hmm. we have an undeclared emergency uh, in the country today mm-hmm. uh, it is tana shahi mm-hmm. uh, that we are seeing so what the bharat jodo yatra is doing mm-hmm. is uh, rising above the day to day elections mm-hmm. of politics mm-hmm. and political activity mm-hmm. and giving the congress an opportunity for i wouldn't say redefining mm-hmm. but reinterpreting Mm-hmm. uh sharpening mm-hmm. uh and clarifying to the people mm-hmm. uh what it stands for mm-hmm. and i think the most important thing that it stands for mm-hmm. is not just unity in diversity mm-hmm. uh, which everybody claims to stand for mm-hmm. but unity through diversity and that's the congress's 
USP, unique mm. selling point. But we are the only party that celebrates India's diversity mm. and uses India's diversity to strengthen India's unity. So the RSS and the BJP mm. want uniformity. Mm -hmm. The Congress wants okay. unity, but wants unity through mm -hmm. the celebration of its diversity. So you, Rahul Gandhi said it is like his homecoming, his forefathers left Kashmir centuries back. Well, that was, a, that was yeah. a nice personal so it was touch. trying to strike a uh, you know, personal chord or emotional Yes, yes, it was a nice people. personal touch. But the BJP is here is saying... Jawaharlal Nehru has written in his yeah. autobiography, has written in Discovery of India, you know, that Kashmir, he may have left, his forefathers may have left Kashmir, but Kashmir never left him. Correct. This is what but, but, Nehru wrote. And as you know, hmm. uh, Indira Gandhi hmm. was in Srinagar hmm. uh, three days before she was assassinated. I, we, we, we remember, she we. was uh, in Srinagar on the 28th. Correct. Uh, you know, she came hmm. to see the changing colors of the Chinar, hmm. which she had never seen, hmm. even though she had been coming to hmm. Kashmir for 50 years. Hmm. Dachigam was her favorite sanctuary. Mm -hmm. She expressed a desire mm -hmm. uh, to come to Srinagar. Mm -hmm. uh, and she came on the 28th. Mm -hmm. uh, and she saw the changing colors of the Chinar. Mm -hmm. And then unfortunately and most tragically, she was assassinated uh, uh, three days later. In fact, I've written about this. My environmental biography of Indira Gandhi mm -hmm. starts with a chapter right. of Indira Gandhi coming back mm -hmm. to Srinagar. Mm -hmm. You know, she came uh, to Kashmir for the first time, uh, as I said, she had been coming mm -hmm. from the mid-1920s onwards, regularly. Mm -hmm. But this was the first time she expressed a desire to see the glorious change of colors of, of the Chinar. Chinar, Chinar. Sir, here BJP is saying Congress is now coming to upset the peace they have achieved in Kashmir. There's no peace. You know, there is no peace. Thing. Now, why could they not do it before that? I think terrorism there is, and everything because of the this Congress. Is, this is a mythical peace that they talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, this is completely an exaggeration to say that Jammu and Kashmir is normal. Mm -hmm. We wish it was normal. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, Jammu and Kashmir must be restored full statehood Correct. at the earliest. Mm -hmm. That's the very least we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, what was done on the 5th of August 2019 was a grave insult uh, to the people of Jammu and Kashmir who have been with India for decades. So I don't think that the BJP can claim that there is a return to normalcy. It's a, it's a false normalcy. Now it has again started raining. My last question is, Rahul Gandhi would only wear a T-shirt from No, he was, wearing a, he was wearing a raincoat. But here he started, yeah. Her no, head. he was wearing a raincoat so, but, but once you reach Banihal side, so it's sub-zero. Will he continue with that T-shirt or he well, has I'm, to I'm, I'm, I'm not his advisor on dress matters, I'm okay. afraid. But I know that he wore a, he wore a you know, raincoat gear, yeah. this morning. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I certainly hope that he will be properly equipped when we get into Kashmir, but it's, you know, it's going to be much colder Correct. than what we are seeing yeah, in Yeah, several degrees below freezing but, point uh, in Banihal. Basically. You know, in spite of the rains, people have come. Correct. We have walked. We, was, we normally start at 7, but today we started at 7.45. That's the only concession we made to the rain gods. Hmm. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm really hmm. greatly heartened to see that hmm. in this long walk that we have had this morning, hmm. and we probably have done about... 16 kilometers by now <laughs> with another five kilometers to go <laughs> there have been people on both sides of the road very true welcoming the bharat jodo yatra so really a great start of bharat jodo yatra from kutwa this morning you can see here large number of people have come out from their homes despite drizzling since morning rahul gandhi we uh, so uh, besides his uh, t-shirt which has become a huge you know debate across the country in the north indian cold mornings he could continue with t-shirt but here he used we had he we had wood jacket when he removed it when rain stopped but mr jairam ramesh is saying depending on the weather certainly you know, so he may we had he had the woolens 
when he reached Kashmir, crossed the Banihal Tunnel, it is the temperature there several degrees below freezing point. But the important thing is here, Yatra has started. There was a grand reception of Rahul Gandhi when he arrived, entered the Yatra, entered Jammu and Kashmir, and it is the most crucial and important and final leg of this Yatra, which will conclude uh, with a grand rally in Srinagar, which is seen as the biggest rally in recent times in Kashmir.